my name is Taryn. Welcome to the University Writing Center series of MLA 8th edition instruction videos. In this video, we are going to discuss MLA in-text citation. This video will cover what in-text citation means, why and when you should use in-text citation in your work, and how to create in-text citations according to the guidelines of MLA's 8th edition. This video is part of a series which also includes an introduction to MLA style, MLA rules for formatting a paper, and the Works Cited page. An in-text citation, sometimes referred to as a parenthetical citation, is an important part of giving credit to a source, which you have either paraphrased, summarized, or directly quoted in the body of your work. These are brief citations, usually consisting of the last name of the author and a page number, which are placed in parentheses in the text. In-text citations correspond to matching sources on your Works Cited page, which is discussed in another video in this series. While every citation style has its own in-text citation guidelines, this video will cover only MLA, which is typically used in the humanities. If you are using information from someone else's work, it must always be cited not just on the Works Cited page, but in-text as well. When directly quoting from a source, an in-text citation should immediately follow the quote. However, this is not the only time an in-text citation should be used. When paraphrasing a source, which means restating a specific passage or idea in your own words, an in-text citation should be used at the end of the paraphrase. Paraphrases are often used in order to avoid overly long direct quotes. In addition, when summarizing someone else's work, that is, restating the main idea or ideas of an author's work, it is still essential that an in-text citation be included. In general, there are two ways you can craft sentences using in-text citations. First, you may choose not to use the author's name in the sentence. This is common in MLA, and if you choose not to use the author's name, your in-text citation must include the last name of the author and a page number if you have one available. Second, you may choose to include the author's name in the sentence by using what is called a signal phrase, like according to John Doe or as Jane Doe writes. A signal phrase indicates that you are pulling this information from a source and your in-text citation will then only include a page number. When creating an in-text citation, it is important to consider the type of source you are using. If you were using a non-electronic source, like a book or a newspaper, your in-text citation will generally include an author or authors and a page number. Here are some examples. Note that if you have more than three authors, your citation will use only the last name of the first author listed and the phrase at all. If you were using an electronic source, like a website or a journal found through an online database, your in-text citation will look basically the same. However, many electronic sources do not have page numbers. In this case, it is appropriate to use only the last name of the author or authors. You can see this in these examples. Some sources, particularly websites, may not have listed authors. It is still required that you cite this in text, and it is also expected that you will ensure that you are using a credible source. To cite a source with no author, simply use the title or a shortened version of it and a page number if one is available. Note that the title is placed within quotation marks inside of the citation. Sometimes you may run into a tricky citing situation. Here are some guidelines for other types of sources you might run into while writing. If you are citing multiple texts by the same author, you should list the title of the work after the name of the author and before the page number. The use of italics or quotation marks will be determined by how the title would be listed on the Works Cited page. If you are using text by different authors who have the same last name, use the first initial of these authors in your in-text citation. Sometimes you may find a quote in an article that came from elsewhere. It's recommended that you try to find the original source of the quote, but if you can't, Indicate that you are quoting something which is cited in another source and that this is the citation listed on your Works Cited page by basing your citation on the example seen here. If you'd like more information about in-text citations or are looking for guidance on a specific situation, you can reference the MLA Handbook 8th edition, 
find the MLA handout on the University Writing Center website or visit the Purdue OWL website. And in addition, if you are a member of the UofL community, you can make an appointment to work with a consultant by calling the University Writing Center or visiting our website. The final video in our MLA series will cover the Works Cited page.